Okay, so the other video cut off. I knew I was getting down on my time. So, um, and I know like when the videos are long, I know like certain people, they're like, man, these are so long. Like, you know, I go through too, right? If someone sends you like a huge text, you're like, oh, I used to be that person. Now I'm like, oh man, you know, I'm like, I don't have time for all that. But for those that like, God will lead you to the right stuff, right? He'll show you what's true. Like he'll, you know, he'll help you. So some of the witnessing tools, I'm just trying to share like what God has done with me and used me. So I felt like I've seen amazing results for the, with these things and maybe it'll help you. Maybe, maybe there's things you can do that you feel like, oh man, I'm just so nervous about witnessing or telling people I'm a Christian or whatever. Or I don't know where they're at. You never know how people are going to act, right? I can honestly tell you every single person that I've talked to that the Lord has said, go talk to them or give them this or, you know, do this or whatever. The Lord moves on their hearts before I even get there, gives me words of knowledge for them, lets me pray for them, you know, all these things. It's all the Lord because I'm, a, I'm, I'm available. It's like most people don't want to be like, yeah, you can interrupt any part of my day. Like, no, we, m most people are like, when I'm at work, I have to not be, you know, like all this other stuff, but sorry, I'm touching my hair so much too. But, um, so anyway, these are a couple of things that the Lord has, has shown me that I really haven't seen from like a lot of people. Um, so these, right. So these are like scripture verses and all that. Let me see if I could. Anyway, you guys get it. So, so there's scripture verses. So we, you know, have a whole bag. There's all these different colors that it comes with. Like, look, these are like, and they're really cool colors too. Like, look at this, this blue one and this yellow one. Like, so there's right. All different colors, green ones. Like, so this is so cool. Cause our friend Jason at church, right? Um, and we're in New Jersey. So our, our friend Jason at church bought those for, you know, one, one time for the, like something for Easter. I, I think it was for, uh, December for Christmas. So he brought them in and he was just handing them out. And I'm like, these are awesome. And I just, it was one of those things that just clicked and I never thought about it before. And so me and Chris, Chris is like, which ones do you want? I'm like, I don't know, whatever. So he picked one out and we got these other ones, which were great. And we really like these, but so anyway, we started handing them out to people like wherever the Lord said, and even just like seeing people, whatever, everybody smiles. I don't think with all the people I've given them to hundreds at this point, this is totally not to brag. It's like, you know, we can all do this, right? Like we can all, I would say, not, I don't want to say we can all, but like for the most part, you can do stuff. We, we know we can do more for the Lord. Like we, we know that, you know, so we just got to do it in God's time so we don't get burnt out and, and he helps us, you know? Also one big thing that I've been a Christian for a long time, but like recently I've taken this way more serious and it's been so amazing. So there was this devotion that I actually got my husband, my mom got it. It's, um, and it's not like, oh, let's pick on the name or the person that wrote it or whatever. It could be, it can be any devotional, right? This one is just, it literally seems to like, no, God like uses this every day for us. It's like so funny because like, that's exactly what I needed. Sometimes I won't read it in the morning and sometimes I'll read it later and then I'll go through something throughout the day and then read it later. And I'm like, that's why Lord, you had me read it later. Not that it's like, oh, I see God in everything. Oh, and it's like a big conspiracy. No. I see God in like everything, but you don't have to be weird. Like my pastor said on Sunday, don't be weird about it. Don't be like crazy. Don't, you know, people will ease into stuff. God, listen, my husband, he hardly even prayed with me or for, no, he never prayed for me. Um, when we were friends for like months and months, you know, he, he would listen to me pray, but I never had to go, God, make him into a prayer warrior. No, there's other videos. I talk about that too. God took him to where he like literally is in ministry school now. So it's like, trust me, uh, coming around, like our testimony is amazing, but, um, just things, you know, but this devotional, it is kept like me and Chris do it together. Like every day, like he has one, I have one. And, you know, I even sh like, you know, read it to other people and stuff. And it, it just always blesses them. So just get a devotion and that can just, you'd be like, all right, God, this is your time. You don't have to be crazy and be like, God, I have to give you all this time. No, start small, right? What I started doing before I even really heard from the Lord, like straight up words of knowledge that I'm like now I see all the time, but it's like, I never like, 
I, I started small. I literally felt go into this parking lot after school. My mom would watch my son and I just sat there and I was like, okay, Lord, this is your time. This is your 20 minutes. Like, I'm just going to sit and listen and like, wouldn't put my phone on like nothing. And I would just sit there and like one day after like two weeks of just sitting there being faithful, I started hearing this little whisper and it started talking to me about the trees around outside. And I'm like, that's weird. And then after that, it was like, I would go to prayer meetings and like every person I would see, the Lord started telling me stuff about. Then I would go over them, eventually pray for them. And then God would give me words as I'm praying for them. So it's like, I don't, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, and then definitely read your Bible, you know, every day. We got this awesome one. That's like a fire Bible. I feel like I'm like, these are the products today. No, it's like, these are just things that the Lord has just blessed me and Chris with so much. So in the fire Bible, it's like, there's so much commentary where even when I read the commentary about this stuff, I'm like, Oh, that felt anointed. Like, you know, not that it, that's like the word I, I he's having me write down, right? There's nothing special about it. It's just because God's having me say it, you know? And it's like, I trust that he's going to do whatever he needs to with it. But it's like, man, that stuff, it's just so amazing. So Christians need to know that, look at the times we're living in. I mean, I'll end on this. It's not supposed to be all like, oh, be scared. Oh, look what we're going through. No, it's like, I literally have been praying for these, for these leaders, Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, before he got saved, you know, um, um, Joe Rogan, um, this guy listened to how to hunt.com, um, Steve Isdall, um, and Elon Musk, like all these specific leaders. And then some of them to be like taken out if they don't repent. And then some of them, cause only God knows. Right. And then, um, some of them, God is just, you know, like having me pray over and that they've been having dramatic things happening in their lives. Oh, on, um, no, the one video on the one channel on YouTube, the guy is like a, um, I think he worked for the, he was a seal. I think I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong, but, um, oh my gosh, it's like the, one of the best podcasts, not the Joe Rogan show, but, um, but I've been praying for him too. So it's funny. Cause when you pray, ask the Lord how to pray, because it's like, you can ask for people to be influenced around those people too. Like you could say, God, touch his wife, touch his kid. I've been praying for Elon Musk's kid who has autism for that to be broken off of him and totally healed. Cause what would, what would happen if that happened? Right. Elon Musk, all the money in the world can't, can't, you know, what do you do? You can't make it better. You just got to work with it, all this stuff. But the Lord, I've seen people, I know people like I know kids, like multiple kids that have been delivered from that straight up and dramatic changes in their life. So I know that can happen. So I've been praying for that to happen. You know, if you guys want to agree with me on that, you know, I know there's more power in like community and stuff like that. So, you know, I've been praying for these leaders and God is moving in their lives, like straight up. So, you know, just know like your prayers are not small, like they can be as big as you believe they are, right? Like God can do it. So, you know, we're praying for people across the world, across the nation, right? The body of Christ is everywhere. So, um, I just wanted to, you know, hopefully use this to encourage people, you know, um, while I'm like telling about products, it's so funny. I've been taking chlorophyll, uh, chlorophyll. So it's literally like what plants do to get like, you know, do in their system or whatever. But this chlorophyll like takes heavy metals out of your body, right? Don't quote me. I'm just saying like from the research I've done, but how I feel, I started taking it every day. And it's like, you can get it online. It's like liquid stuff. Um, and I'm like, oh, I feel younger. Like, I feel like 